previously on Rubiego. When your house plan is a drawing on an iPad, sometimes you need to make a couple of adjustments when it comes time to go from that drawing to real life. We have our foundation, so we need to start making our back wall and also start creating our bathroom. We have to choose our materials. We love the absence of uniformity, the irregularity of all the individual stones. So, here are the bathroom, here is the kitchen, here are the living room. This one, to go around the tent. Since our fence is a life fence, we needed to add more life to it. The frames were just bare. Aesthetically, that was not giving. Mm -mm. This is a big bedroom. 3,000 liter Ken tank. There's still a bunch of things we're figuring out right now. We're doing this as we go. We ran into some issues. We're gonna show you the snag we hit that resulted in us having to completely rethink everything. Coming up next on Rubiego. Before we get to what went wrong, let's go back to the site and see what adjustments we need to make. Because of the way this is all planned out, we knew we were going to have to do some messing around to get the tent and the stone structure to fit together properly. So you can see, in order to get this aligned properly, we've moved the tent frame post outside of the concrete pad. And that is getting us proper alignment with this door. There's still a little gap here, but that is a much smaller deal than what we had before. So we can work with that. So everything's finally in position. There'll still be more fine tuning to do, but overall, this is how it'll be. Next step is since now we have these positioned, we have to start talking about the roof. So we're gonna need to get some kind of battery hold down because we didn't have one. What happened is this positive battery cable has been rubbing against the side of this intercooler, which is very sharp and it's shorted. That nice little, nice little burn there. So I'm gonna just have to find some of this stuff in here so that it's insulated until we get back. Soon after the tents went up, we had a problem. So originally we had one, two tents, and then right in the back is just the kitchen, and it's just gonna be an open thing. It was another thing where we thought things were gonna be a certain way, we thought it was gonna be okay. We had this image of Malima like the bus where it would all just be open to the elements and Sheila sat us down and introduced us to reality. Ah, uh, what about security? Okay, okay, okay. So we go like around the outside a little bit more, we do a little bit more fencing, but not like we have to enclose everything, right? We have to close everything. Oh. That was not the plan. Aki Sheila, why do we have to enclose this? When we were starting, even the neighbors were wondering, what are you people making? So everybody kept asking, even the guys who are delivering the materials, they were like, what are you guys making? Nyaga started the thing of saying, we are doing a greenhouse. Because the poles were huge. So we bought the idea, we kept saying, yeah, it's a greenhouse, it's a greenhouse. The guy who brought the ballast, the cocoto and the quarry sand from Dietman, he said, okay, I love how you're building your store. So we changed the story to be store. <laughs> So because of that curiosity from people, it already portrayed that everybody will be wondering what are you people making. She was right. We just weren't thinking this through before. If you have kitchen, you'd have a microwave, you'd have a dishwasher, you'd have all this stuff that's very valuable that you want to lock it up when you're not there. Malima, they have a 10 acre plot. They have other dwellings on site. They have full time staff there to make sure everything's okay. It's a very different situation than our little quarter acre which is just by itself you know that some people are good they just want to know what's happening others are like i want to know and then you don't know they have bad intentions so we thought about the security considering at some point you can never just live in a theft free community you see so we needed also to have something secure as much as you wanted everything to be open we needed to have something to secure it We needed that reality check, but we weren't gonna give up on our dream. And so that meant more complexity. It was really important to us that we maintain that outdoorsy vibe. It was like, okay, closing the front, we're like, oh my God, there's not gonna be enough light. That meant windows. Let's put windows. Windows, windows, windows. Humongous windows, humongous windows. I want light from the sides. I want light from the ground. I want light from everywhere. We need that natural light. So I asked, if we have to enclose this, can we use matope? Matope being 
the traditional Kenyan mud construction that's used in a lot of rural huts. It's very versatile, it's actually very strong, it's very easy to do, and it's very inexpensive. I remember seeing it and going, looks great to me. It is such a good thing to put in your house. It just brings a lot of character. Like, you're not just using only matope, you like mix and match it. So with that, we gave Nyaga some rough measurements, and he and his team got to work setting up our matope walls. now. I absolutely love this. When your bedroom is a tent, you can put the entire bedroom into service mode if you want to access anything underneath. I don't think I've ever seen how Matope House starts. The first time I'm seeing this, this is gonna be so cool. I am... <gasps> what do you think? Eita and I are crazy or what? We're definitely crazy. That's not up for debate. <laughs> What are we doing? I love this. <laughs> the only references I had to go by were the Malima Outdoor Kitchen and just some huts that we had driven past. I had no idea what we were going to get. When I saw how these ladies put the stones into the mud, was blown away. It was just so beautifully done. Oh my god, we really built something crazy. I guess it's gonna be a unique house. And that is a perfect stopping point for today. In the next video, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna talk plumbing, we're gonna talk roofing, and we're gonna talk finishes and fixtures. Not to mention even more issues we ran into along the way as well as small small things that we have to close off what a crazy thing i don't think anyone's construction ever goes as planned there's so much more coming so don't miss it <laughs>